So everything we do in medicine involves trade-offs. There are pluses and minuses of everything we do. If you're taking a new medication, you want to know how the medication is going to help you and how many side effects you are likely to get. Everything in medicine is like that. Diagnostic imaging is no different. Much of advanced medical imaging is fantastic, will really help you, and sometimes it won't help you. Sometimes it's not necessary or indicated that the potential harms are greater. So anytime your physician recommends an advanced imaging test, you want to ask why. How is this going to help me? How are you going to use this information? Is this going to treat, uh, change my treatment? And I think those are really legitimate questions. And among the list of questions should be, does this use radiation? And what's the risk of that kind of radiation? Um, patients really need to become informed consumers. And I think sometimes physicians order tests because they think you really want the test as a patient. And sometimes you go to an interaction with a physician thinking you really want an MRI or a CT when maybe you might not want it if you knew really that about these pluses and minuses. So from a patient's perspective, I really want you to ask, how is this going to help me? And I think you want to become an informed consumer of everything medical, including imaging. In terms of the radiation dose, it's really a very fine line. Um, advanced imaging uses radiation, and we know that radiation can have side effects, including causing future cancers. The risk is relatively small, and if the test is necessary, then I wouldn't be terribly concerned about that. If the test is not necessary, then all of a sudden you have this risk for no reason. And you want to make sure that if you're getting an advanced imaging test or a test that delivers radiation, a CT scan, that it's done in the safest way possible. So if you go to a facility, you want to know that they're doing that test using the lowest dose. And one of the findings of our study is that the dose varied a lot between facilities. So um, patients need to start asking about this. If you go to a facility, ask, are you using quality measures? Have you looked at your dose data from the National Quality Forum? Are you doing my test in the way that minimizes dose? And I think if patients start asking for this, facilities will start doing a, a better job of looking at their doses and lowering them. I know at UCSF we've made a very concerted effort the last couple of years to lower our doses. And we've actually done some papers that have shown pretty dramatic dose reductions over time. And we've done that using a combination of approaches. We have new software, we have new hardware. We're not doing complicated protocols that resulted in higher doses. And those are the kind of things that facilities all need to do. And you need to become an informed consumer and ask if the test I'm going to get, my loved one's going to get, is it going to be done using the safest dose possible?